So at this point, we don't, let me just say, we have the committee, as you know, there's a committee, Charlie's here, right, back here. Uh, we don't have the data yet back from our consultants about what it is, right? So we don't have the facts. And I think first and foremost, universities have to be voices of reason in a society. We want to do some, whatever is reasonable. But in order to make that reason choice, we have to have the data. And we don't have it. And I know we'll not have it for when, Charlie? A couple of... Probably another two or three months. Another two. It's going to take some time to get this data. Uh, there are pros and cons to this. And even in the city, there are people who are on both sides because there are some issues around the grid here. I don't know if you're aware of this, but in January, we almost had to start shedding load. And that is turning off buildings on campus because there's just not enough juice going into <coughs> Newark. So this is where I think the committee is trying to find what the facts are so that we can, we can be reasonable and make a reasoned decision. The other thing I would say, and again, without going into detail, is the reason this even came up is a group of faculty were interested in having this. This was not just something out of left field. It was really a group of faculty, primarily in electrical and computer engineering, but not solely, who said we should pursue this and think about it. And so I, I think that's important to note, because whatever goes on that site has to have some tie to faculty research and or student internships. or we're, Ultimately, not that interested. In it. And uh, this is one where, again, the committee will do its work, they'll issue a report, and then we'll be able to collectively make a decision. But until that happens, I don't know what it is. Right? We don't quite know what it is. And so it's hard to be, at least in my mind, for or against something until the facts are laid. 